All right, well, so we're gathered here this morning because we've got a large and important announcement. Um, I know a lot of people have been pondering and wondering about whether this announcement was coming, and I guess all of those people were right. So today we're announcing that we're making Mercenaries 2 World in Flames uh, for the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 2 and the uh, PC. And of course, as we've been talking about all along, uh, the PlayStation 3. So it's coming to you in four delicious flavors. So get excited. I can't believe you guys didn't figure it out by now with all those 360 controllers in our video. I know all those business. subtle hints. Catch us in our wily little tricks. But ah, you didn't catch us when we actually had the PCs up there right now, did you? You just saw the 360 controls. Pandemic's historically been a uh, platform agnostic developer. Um, I think that's the plan moving forward. Um, you know, it kind of gets our games out to the maximum possible audience and uh, and gets it into everyone's hands. And that's at the end of the day, that's the goal. We want uh, we want as many people as possible playing our games, having fun. Um, and bump it up. The next gen SKUs are all going to be feature wise, are gonna, we're trying to make them identical. Um, we feel like Mercenaries is such a great experience that we want all of our fans to enjoy deeply. The PS2 version, obviously, because of the less memory and not as fast processor, we're going to have to do some tricks to get it working on the PS2, but the idea is to map it as closely to the PS3 version as possible. We kind of kicked off the game as a PS3 game. That was like our. our primary focus and you know around E3 last year we were, we were very much just focused on the PS3 and, and making that as cool as we can and we're really glad we put a lot of investment and time into the platform because um, now you know the game looks great on uh, on the PS3 but somewhere in there we it, you know we realized it made sense just to be on the 360 as well it's a it's a great machine you know it's a, it's exciting time to be a game developer you got a lot of powerful hardware out there to use and we wanted to you know see what we could do with both of the platforms and I think I think both versions of the game uh, on both of the platforms, on both the next-gen consoles, it's going to be pretty sweet. To, to give a hint, while we were at E3 with the PS3, we had a running 360 build in the background. It probably was not a feature parody with the PS3, but it was pretty close. So we've been certainly working on the next-gen consoles for quite a while, both of them. Another reason for the announcement is, you know, we've, uh, we've partnered up with EA Partners uh, to co-publish the game, which is uh, very exciting. You know, we're really excited to have their muscle behind the uh, behind the game and helping us distribute it and market it. I think that's going to be really cool, get it into everyone's hands all around the world. Um, and, you know, and uh, I think... i got no way to finish that sentence. <laughs> <laughs> all right, is that it, bro? We good? Still nauseous from all that Australian candy. Australia. <laughs> the worst. Yeah, ever. 